A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I want to show you how to place text on the uh, stage uh, only through action script guys and how to change the font only through action script. Alright. So basically the stage that is in front of you has a color which is a pound sign 3333. Three, Alright. There's nothing else on the stage and if I hit control enter you'll see that some text is actually placed on the stage and it uh, changes the font every single second guys so since there was nothing on the stage it means that uh, obviously there was something in the library there were two fonts embedded with an AS linkage and uh, a lot of action script which meant that uh, the text was actually placed only through action script guys only through action script all the effect that you saw was happening only through the action script cool right so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redo the whole project in a new uh, action you know in a new flash file so that uh, you'll understand it much better All right so I've hopped uh, onto the uh, a blank uh, flash project and let me start coding guys okay the first thing that you need is a variable to actually hold the text field so I'm gonna say variable my text field right of the type text field guys space equals space new text field so basically I'm creating a new instance of a text field right in which I'll be placing some text obviously and then I'm gonna say let me copy and let me paste it out here dot text using the text property guys I'm sure it's familiar to you I'm gonna say changing and placing some text through AS3 that's action script 3 cool right guys then uh, <coughs> let me hit control enter let's see what's happened nothing happened obviously uh, because you need to use the add child method I'm gonna say add child add child method to you know display the items on the display list guys unless and until you use the add child method nothing would happen right so add child my text field test the movie and guys it's bang there in the corner in in some black text is getting right there it is cool let me show it to you again but guys as you can see it is getting chopped off and even the color is uh, so close to the you know the stage color that you can hardly see it so I need to change the color as well so the f let's change the color first I'm gonna say my text field dot text color guys that's the property and then make it equal to 0x now 0x uh, needs to be prefixed before the hex code and let me change the hex code to FF 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 that's the white color guys control enter to test and the font has changed but it's getting chopped off from the right hand side it's getting truncated how do I fix that I need to use the width property I'm gonna say dot width and then let me make it equal to 500 stage size the stage width is 550 so 500 is fine and now guys you can see that it's not getting chopped off cool let me you know give it an x and y coordinate as well so dot x make it equal to 50 and uh, dot y make it equal to 50 as well for the time being we can adjust it later and right cool okay <laughs> now what guys I need to format it I need to give it a different font I need to give it a different size so how do I do that guys for that I'll need yet another variable let me create that variable out here so variable text format of the type text format <laughs> space equals space new text format so basically this variable text format will be holding the uh, formatting for my text field All right and how do I you know add the formatting let's say I want to add these size I'm gonna say text format not size right and let's say make it equal to 36 mm -hmm. and then if I need to add the size 36 to my text field let's see how do we do that's a little tricky guys I need to come down after my text field after my text field was declared and then I'm gonna say 
my text field dot default text format using I have to use the default text uh, format property guys and then I have to make it equal to text format and now this variable text format is actually holding the size right so I have to use the default text format property on my text field only then will the size reflect so I control enter and right but uh, that's that's a little too much let me drop it down mm, to something like um, how about a 24 alright that's fine cool next guys uh, what I need to do is I need to change the font okay uh, from the default font guys I, I wouldn't want the default font. I would want my own font right so what I'll be doing is I'll be going to the library tab I'll be hitting the library tab and uh, there's absolutely nothing in the library guys at the moment it's an empty library then I'll be hitting this uh, you know the small uh, icon out here a down arrow kind of an icon I'm gonna hit it I'm gonna choose new font and then guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose my fonts now I need to choose two fonts uh, for the alternating text behavior guys so let me let me go with the um, let's see let me go with the let me go with the seago print and seago script right okay so guys the first thing that I need to do is I need to embed the font and that is how you actually embed the font also guys what I need to do is I need to go to the action script tab I need to exp click on export for action script and then uh, choose a class name I'm happy to keep the class name at font one which is fine I'm gonna say okay and okay once again guys alright so see 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 go print I suppose it's pronounced I may be wrong guys uh, has been embedded not only has been uh, has it been embedded it has also been uh, you know this this been an AS linkage done which means that now I can use this uh, font uh, through the action script and place it uh, and use it uh, through the action script right and I need yet another font guys uh, for the alternating behavior but uh, we'll do that later right now I'm gonna create yet another variable guys and I'm gonna call it variable my font okay and then make it equal to new font one wasn't that the name of the is linkage no that's a capital F okay so that was the class name parent parent so I couldn't so basically guys I've created a variable that is going to hold the new font that has been embedded all right seago seago script or print whatever it was right okay now guys I need to use the uh, new font so uh, the way to do it is I'm gonna say text format dot font and make it equal to uh, make it equal to my font dot font name property guys uh, beg your pardon with a capital N right parent parent semicolon okay let me explain that again now if you remember the text format variable holds the formatting through the font property I'm making it equal to my font and my font is through the dot font name uh, property is actually holding the new font so it's a little bit intricate I understand it's a little bit uh, complex that's the syntax guys you have to <laughs> use it All right now the variable text format not only holds the size but also holds the new font right cool so how about testing it now I got an error okay where did I go wrong 
all right a uh, very silly error guys it's just uh, my phone dot font name and there are no parents out here let me test it again all right very good very cool just that uh, the text is too big in size it's overshooting the limits I uh, need to get it down further how about uh, let me try 16 now ah that's too uh, short I think 18 should be perfect all right guys so uh, now we know how to change the color of the font how to place fonts uh, through action script how to change the size of the font guys let me quickly reiterate I'm gonna end the tutorial right here guys the alternating text behavior will follow uh, in the next part guys it's gonna be a big tutorial all right it's, it's gonna come in the next part so um, before I actually terminate this tutorial let me quickly reiterate uh, whatever we have done I've created a variable text format of the type text format that is going to hold the text formatting I've created yet another variable my font which is holding the embedded font guys I've created then what I've done is uh, the text format variable is holding the size in the font through the size in the font properties guys cool and then I've created a variable my text field and uh, through the text property I've placed some text in it okay then I've added uh, I've used the add child method to add the text field I've changed the text color of the text field through the text color property guys I've changed the width the x and y coordinates through the width x and y properties of my text field right and then uh, I have actually uh, spiced up my text field of added flavor or let's say formatting to my text field through the default text format property and I made it equal to uh, text format and guys if you remember the text format is holding the size and the new font right so mm, not too difficult guys and uh, then will come very soon the interesting part in part number two where I'll be using a timer I'll be using yet another font I'll be creating that alternating text from you know uh, uh, text format I'll be showing you how to do that alternating text format uh, effect alright guys so hope you like this tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it too I'll see you very soon in part number two bye bye see you peace